National Youth Service Day connects hundreds of young people in our area with opportunities to help their communities. This year, at House of Mercy, young men from Beginnings Group Home were able to work together to help others. I'm just trying to make things right. I'm trying to make people feel more like at home and not have to deal with the dirty yard and stuff like that. I'm just trying to help out people for the good sake. We've had kids that, you know, um, know they have to do volunteer hours, a little leery about doing that, and then once they're in there, you know, they just feel so accepted, and um, it just kind of opens them up to be willing to try new things. I would actually feel inspired even more because I helped somebody out today, so. Any one of us can look through a list of agencies that is funded by United Way of North Rock County and find an agency that we have been personally involved with. There was an article in the paper about the Janesville Literacy Council and how they needed tutors. Well, I dropped out of school and I worked in a factory and I uh, didn't care for that work too much. Dyslexia is a clinical disease which makes it difficult for people to make sense of words and numbers. And uh, so I hitchhiked south and the uh, road ended in Surfside, Texas. So I went to work on a shrimp boat. In society, communication is, is key to success, whether it's writing a memo or being able to read a memo or follow directions or problem solve with your colleagues. The reading, the writing, checking the spelling, that sort of thing. He loves to write stories, so he does that also. So um, and that's above and beyond the lessons we're doing since he just got published in the Readers as Writers. Jeff was invited to speak to seventh graders at Edison Middle School about the difficulties he's experienced and the importance of reading. Thanks a lot for coming to our school. It must have been hard to talk, to talk about, about what what's happened. happening in front of a seventh grade audience, especially because we're quick to judge and label people. I thought your story was sad, but so inspiring. You're a good ex example of regaining your confidence and trying again. Thank you for sharing. I learned that if you really need help, to not be afraid to ask for it. I also learned to appreciate our differences. Not everyone is the same. You gave me a message of asking for help, paying attention, and staying focused. I won't give up or think about giving up again.